This is not a podcast, although it is a pod that will transport you into a different realm with the cast, a platform for nomads, an unorthodox format, a divine romance far away from nonsense, a divine union that ties you in through resonance. We are performers in a performance, creating timeless content. Through alchemy, this energy continues to lead us away from torment and we find ourselves at home with contentment. Dumelang Batswana, Butsadi Lebana, Ritsile Fana, Kerafan, Kahofaro, Lohana, Harona, Fapile Halona. To showcase your combined efforts, ask and it shall be given, is the law. Ramoheling, please open your hearts, open your doors, then open them up a bit more. There's not a single child here that isn't yours. Through writing, we shall soar further and beyond. This one is for the wordsmiths. Let's take a tour. Thank you for tuning in to Underground with the Unbounds, Season 4. Everyone in the Sadek region, everyone, there's one word, at least one, that we all share. And it means the same thing. Mm. At least one. Mm. Uh, but I know there's more. Mm. Yeah. And that is, that, 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 that shows something else that was lost action of course you're gonna action it out like that but i wasn't recording the song but it's fine uh yo this one is weird one we're not in the studio two i am in front of the camera with the person i'm talking to so it's just crazy in how it's going to be. It's going to be shorter than the other episodes or just doing a recap with honestly it's just joe but just Joe, this is how we start the conversation, eh? Right. You know what's crazy? Right. How you were being interviewed, yeah. now you're editing, yeah. and you don't have an episode coming up. Yeah. You know how weird that is. How did we go from there to there? Only the world knows, because you don't know. Yeah. Only the world knows. But what do you think about the content you've been seeing as you're editing? Oh, it's been dope. What's Actually, dope about it? I've been enjoying it. Uh, I've been enjoying... Um, I think I'm in a phase. I'm in a phase in, in my life, ne, where I am. Oh 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not like the mic mic. Should I like hold it? You can hold it. Yeah. yeah so so like so I'm I'm in a phase in my life, Abana, mm-hmm. where I'm really um, exploring who I am, what I am, mm-hmm. and I'm realizing I realize a bit more when I meet somebody who knows a bit more about themselves. Okay. So where like I where where I sense their confidence mm-hmm. in who they are and where they articulate it mm-hmm. like as powerfully as they can when I learn something. Okay. Usually what I'm learning is something telling me about me too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get you get so so you can imagine uh, with the episodes that I've been editing that's how many people I've been meeting. I get you. Do you get it? Oh yeah. yeah. I get you. I get you. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. I'm learning through that. Exactly. Nah, I get you. Yeah. I get you. So we're gonna do this. This one is crazy. Like I'm saying, it's a very weird episode. Nothing about this one is like all the other episodes you've seen. Our mic is a phone. Our location is different. I'm on screen, which is very weird for me. I don't like being on screen unless I'm being paid for it. Pay me my money. <laughs> That's me plugging my song. Please go check it out. It's called Respect on all digital streaming platforms. DVG DJ Respect with a capital P in the middle. There's a reason. Find out why. Or you follow me. Back to you. What have you learned? What have I learned? Uh, about yourself through these interviews and le- hearing people speak about themselves. Ah, oh, man. So much, right? Mm-hmm. So first of all, first of all, I've, I've learned that I'm not alone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, in in yeah, in a lot of in a lot of how I feel mm-hmm. as a creative. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like going through the episodes and listening to what everyone had to say. I'm okay not saying anything. You saying this now is literally with what this is in line with what I'm thinking right now. Would you change if 
you remember? Would you change anything you said in your interview when I was interviewing you? No, I probably, I probably would repeat a bunch of stuff exactly the way I said it. Yeah. Now, if that's the case, if you are saying you've learned so much from these people and you've learned that sometimes it's okay not to say anything, how are you taking that into that interview? If you are saying you haven't, you're, you're going to answer me the same way you did in that interview, but you've learned so much. Mm -hmm. well, uh -huh, yes. Yeah, apl application of the knowledge and of yeah. the learning. How would you do that if the interview has to be redone? Uh, let's see. I think maybe I would say more stuff. Okay. Yes, I would have more to say. Okay. Yes, I would have more to, to add on to what I already said. Because, uh -huh. like I said, as I was meeting the people, uh, the creatives, uh, I was also seeing my sentiments. Mm -hmm. You know, some of my sentiments from okay, from, from the that. conversation yeah. we had. And I'm like, yo, you know? And I didn't mind hearing it from yeah. different lips, as long as it's said. Yeah, yeah. So so that's where now, Lynn, now I'm starting to appreciate, uh, I'm starting to appreciate, I guess, maybe only saying what needs to be said. Mm -hmm. And if it's been said, it's okay to be quiet. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Now, that one makes a lot more sense for me. Like, I'm learning that from you now. I'm like, oh, sometimes it's just best to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> if the guy has said it, why are you going to repeat it? But people do that, though. Like, I've come to realize, like, in conversations, I could say something, and then literally no more than 10 seconds later, Somebody saying the exact same thing that I said, but as their own. It bugs me a lot. It bugs me a lot. So I don't know. Are you saying these guys also should learn to just keep quiet if it's been said? So, okay, the thing is, I understand it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So I'm kind of like an empath, right? Okay, okay. So, uh, and, and I usually lean towards compassion. Okay. Here's one thing I, 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 I understand is that we all want to be amazing. Do you get? And, and, and we all know a dope thing when we hear it being said. You get? And now, depending on how confident you are in yourself, sometimes uh, when you hear the thing, you'll acknowledge within you that it's dope, but uh, because you're not yet proper, you can't give the person their flowers. Uh -huh. and then it, you feel like you need to own it. But I'm realizing that it's a waste of time to try to own ideas. Because I've literally been in a, in, a, in, a, in a situation where I was, I, was in the, I was in a room, we were brainstorming, right? And then I had an idea. And in that room, everybody was trying to, to be impressive. Mm -hmm. So, so, so Linda, I was thinking I want to be, but I was also being impressed with what was happening as it was developing. Mm -hmm. And then I had an idea. I didn't, I wasn't too confident about it, but I thought this could be dope, it could be whatever. But I was still thinking, as I was still wrestling with it, the person who I would say we were all trying to impress said the very thing mm -hmm. that I was thinking. And then, and then him saying it, first of all, it validated me. I get you. Just kill a one. Mm, I get you. My thinking, I, you, yeah. I was on the right track. Nah, I get you. And then I realized, because I was just excited about the project, I realized, okay, I'm just happy it's also being done. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, I get you. Nobody knows I had that thought, you know, at the time. Mm. So, 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 and I'm realizing that, and I would have lost or gained nothing. Got it. I guess the focus was just on the overall project. Yeah. So it's that thing where, where it's like it's no longer about who's saying what anyway to me. Yeah, yeah. And so that's just my experience. That's where I realized that, okay, like I can think a thing and somebody can say it. That's where, that's where I started. Uh, I thought I owned that idea. Then I'm like, I don't think the mind works like that. Exactly. You know, so it's like, okay. So I'm usually thinking about the next thing that I can add. You know, if the thing, if something comes up. Mm. Um, this thing that you guys were discussing about, is it by any chance a Kumo Studios project? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know my job. I, see, I know my job. 
Because even uh, even even in that last one, uh, the interview, yeah. um, we discussed um, Kumo in passing because mm. um, they had the master class going on. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you went to a different master class. Yeah. I went to the Kumo master class. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. Having gone to that master class and then having worked with Kumo, and I know this is you as a videographer, a storyteller, an editor. Um, did you take anything from that master class and then implement it or see a way to use it for Kumo Studios? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, like, I. <laughs> I'm a sponge. My bad. Yeah, hey, yes, yes, yes. I'm a sponge. So, 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 yeah. Everywhere I go, everything I get when I'm there, it's like actually. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I? Can I? Can I say this? I will say. Okay, no. I'll just say. Um, in fact, at Kumo Studios, it was kind of difficult for me not to use everything else that I knew mm-hmm. when I'm doing one thing. So, so, so I think it kind of, it kind of, it's like. Some people were expecting me maybe to be just one thing on a project, uh-huh. but then the I'm like, like hey, I'm like, yo, diverse in your skills, you know, hey, cause, cause I'm realizing, you know, so with certain things, uh, once you, uh, once you're seeing a certain way, you can't unsee, you can't mm. not mm. see that mm. way, mm. you know. Mm. So and then it becomes negotiating with the people around you to understand you, you know, to understand that maybe what they expect from you you overlap in a, in a few ways true, you know true, and true, then true. yeah that kind of thing I um we're gonna keep it short I think we're gonna do a, maybe the last five minutes maybe could be a slight bit more could be less you guys know I talk a lot sometimes um from the content you've seen do you have a favorite do I have a favorite you see I didn't ask <laughs> who's your favorite I first need to establish if you have a fave yeah, let's see, let's see. Uh, no, I don't have a favorite, okay. and I think, I think, yeah, I think everybody gave me something new. Exactly. Oh exactly. yeah, everybody gave me something exactly. new, right? Yeah. yeah. Just great different perspectives about different parts of the same thing. Yes. So I get it. I get why you don't have a fave. But who stood out the most for you? Not as a fave, but who, whose story were you relating to the most, and why? This is as an editor. Yeah, as yeah. an editor. Let's see. Let's see. Man, actually, everyone. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, everyone. Yeah. Like, so this is where I'm, this is where I'm saying, and because I, I think I'm realizing it, it is kind of it's humbling mm-hmm. to see yourself in another person. Do you get? Yeah, Especially, it. yeah, it is. It is humbling. It's like it really makes you slow down and say, this place where I thought I was alone, there's someone else. And they almost see it exactly the way I do. You know what I'm saying? So then it's like being part of a tribe. It's like realizing Mm. that you're part of a tribe. Mm. Mm. There is 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 an adjustment, but it's a nice adjustment, I think, yeah. That's dope, that's dope. Um, Apart from doing edits for us, do you have any work that you're doing currently? Um, the Kumo Studios thing, is it out yet? When is it coming out? What's what's that? Actually, tell us. What's that Kumo Studios thing? <laughs> this guy. No, so I was I was doing graphics at Kumo Studios, I right? Uh, no, I'm not I'm no I'm no longer there. Okay. Yeah, I'm no longer there. Uh, it was just last year. Okay. Um, let's see what I'm working on. Yeah, I'm actually working on a production. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm working on a production. It's it's a it's it's. I've been wanting to collaborate with so many creators for a long time. Mm-hmm. I finally know how. Okay. You know, so I've been figuring out how to do that. So now I'm just writing something. It's gonna be something animated. I'm an animator. You know. So yeah, it's gonna be related to this. But yeah, I've been meeting so many creatives, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm also working on something with you know, with 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 Mr. Mm-hmm. LJ. Uh, the, the the Mr. Producer there. The producer right there. Yeah, so there's 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 there's, there's several things that uh, are gonna be coming from me this year. This year, yes. definitely in 2024. Definitely 2024. Okay, that's 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 how we wrap it up. Okay. I wanna ask you. Me. Both of you. Okay. As we close the season. Yeah. Done by season four. 
I was gonna get there. Oh, okay. I was gonna do my last words. I was gonna have him say his last words. I guess me and producer today and in sync. Yeah. <laughs> but we are, because I was getting there. He took us there already. So now you're gonna give us your last words. Then I will do my wrapping up and then we close the show. Okay, let's see. Last words. Uh, what I can say is listen, actually, actually, I was telling, I was telling, I was telling LJ, right? Mm-hmm. He has to do another one. He was telling me this is like the last and he's closing. What do you mean? You know, like, I'm hearing this for the first time now. What do you mean? <laughs> but really, because 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 the thing is, like I said, after you know, as I was going through the the the, the stuff, the mm-hmm. content, yo, bro, it's like uh, cataloging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? History, and documentary. Exactly. I'm like, yo, th- these people are gonna are gonna gonna love seeing watching these like 10 years from now yeah. 20 years from now you know that kind of thing because the way i saw it everybody every one of them is putting is putting in the work is right. working is working so it's gonna be nice because i'm real to reflect exactly because these are like these become like uh how to gain uh like bookmarks in your life exactly and yeah. when it's captured like this so yeah what i'll say is more of this more of this and and it's and it's really at the heart of it is us recognizing each other Facts. you know what i'm saying Facts. and that's where cultures come from you know so that's what i'll say yo and this is how i will wrap it up um i haven't seen any of the episodes but the bit that i've caught um it was i think Masero's introduction no 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 not Masero's introduction the other dude um what was all how on yeah um i think in that moment there was actually no it was the masero introduction where i was talking about how our stories aren't recorded and aren't being shared yeah that's the, yeah that that one that alone sticks out for me and it's the message that i would want to continue sharing our stories as Botswana are nowhere to be heard seen read so if we keep, like he was saying, documenting our culture, yeah. 20 years from now, I'm going to go on this YouTube channel and be like, yo, this is where I started. Bruh. You get yeah. me? So I get, I get exactly what you're saying. So it, those are my last words. Season five is definitely coming. <laughs> Season yeah. five is definitely coming. I don't care what these guys are saying. If anything, I'll do it myself. Hey, shout out to the viewers. Shout out, yeah, actually, shout out you guys. Nah, shout out you. Nah, shout out you guys. Nah, cause people be watching. Like it might not be the millions, but people be watching. And I know every one person will live along. Something in them is being changed. Hey. So yeah, ah, shout out, so sad, sh- shout out to you guys. <laughs> this is how we wrap it up. Season four of the Unbound with the Underground. No, Underground with the Unbound. We travel. Hey. We are nomads. We are Unbound. To my city. I've been praying more for my end.